what's poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 17 tutorial. Glad that you're all here watching again. And in this video, we're gonna keep it pretty straightforward because right now we're gonna create 8D audio. If you don't know what that is, that's like a really, really new experience of listening to music and audio in general. It is actually, like I've showed you in the intro, it is required to listen to this video and to this audio with proper headphones. You can also use decent speakers if you have that, but if you're going to use this one on like through laptop speakers or like your phone or anything like that without earbuds, the audio can sound like pretty much the same as regular audio. So actually using decent quality earplugs, headphones, speakers would be actually recommended for this video so with that all the way if you guys are excited make sure to smash the like button down below subscribe if you're new and let's start creating 8d audio in Vegas Pro 17 right after the intro all right guys so now that we are in Vegas Pro 17 this is the track that we're gonna use So now what we're gonna do is we're going to apply a few effects on this track but first we need to create another audio track and another one as well so we have three audio tracks now it's very important that we're gonna pan the top track to the left the middle one we're gonna keep that one on the center and the bottom track we're gonna pan that to the right so now that we've completed that, we're gonna apply three effects onto our track, which is going to be a track EQ, a graphic EQ, and some reverb. So we're gonna click on this event effects button on the very right. And we're gonna first of all select the effects in our list, which is going to be the reverb. We're gonna click on add, then we're gonna pick the track EQ. We're gonna also click on add, and then we're gonna also pick the graphic EQ, which is right here. We're gonna click on it, highlight it, and then we're gonna hit add, and then we're gonna click on okay. So now that we have three effects on our track what we're gonna do is for the reverb we're gonna put our third marker to zero and our second marker we're gonna place that one to minus 21.4 decibels just like that then for the track eq we need to pick our second dot right here and we need to place that one to minus 2.7 decibels or we can also just change that right here so we're going to put it to minus 2.6 just like that and then for the graphic eq we are going to take this dot and we're going to take this one to plus 4 decibels or 4.1 doesn't really matter that much and that right marker to minus 7 decibels just like that okay so now that we have applied it onto the track let's listen to it right now That sounds really, really great, but we can also make it pan from the left to the right. So what we're gonna do is we're going to start off by cutting. And then for the second time, this one. We're gonna make that one appear through the center. And then when the actual song kicks in right here, we're gonna make that one appear on the right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna also cut it right before this drop happens like that. I'm gonna place that down. But as you can see right now, it's gonna cut straight away. It's gonna be a little bit hard. So what we need to do is we're going to create a little fade out at this clip. And we're gonna also make a fade in as long as that fade out is on the track below it. And we're gonna also do that right here. So then we're gonna create a nice fade out. And then we're gonna also create a fade in below that. So let's listen to it right now. But I think this order is actually wrong. What I would do is I would make this intro pan on the one side and this part on the other side instead of the center. That's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna pan this one to the right and I'm gonna put this one to center. So let's play it back and let's see what this sounds like. I'm 
But as you can see, it's way too sudden. So I'm gonna create a really, really nice long fade in. And I'm gonna also make this fade out as long as that fade in is, and also for this one. So now I'm gonna go ahead and stretch this one a little further. So it sounds way more, and you can actually hear that it's switching sides way better. So let's listen to it right now. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just, you know, through this first verse, I'm gonna also cut it and make it pan again to other sides. So let's go ahead and click on it. Then we're gonna place this one on top of it. We're gonna also create a nice fade out. We're gonna create a fade in right here. And then we're gonna also cut, for example, right here. Place that one on top of it. Make this one a little longer. Add in a fade out and in a fade in. So now it's actually, you know, while the song is playing, we can actually hear it switching from sides. So this is what it sounds like. So now I'm just adding a little more fades. You can basically go from left to right and right to left and in the center. So this is what we have created in total. So that's it guys, this is how you create 8D audio in Vegas Pro, how to simulate that and how you pan from the left to the middle to the right and also the other way around. So this is basically how to do it with like three really simple effects and some panning and some cutting and that's basically how simple it is. So that's it for this video. Now you guys know how to create 8D audio or something really, really, really similar to that. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button down below. Subscribe if you're here for the first time. I'll catch you guys tomorrow in a brand new video as well. So I'll see you guys in the next one.